Now, I just got back from DEF CON 33, and it felt right that the first thing I had to review was the iCopy XS. Now, I got this from Hacker Warehouse. Now, I stopped by, of course, because I know that they're a huge brand. And just walking up, they had the biggest stage there, or the biggest setup there, biggest booth. And it was just amazing. I walked up, I'm like, I forgot this YouTube channel. And this was given to me for free by Hacker Warehouse. Thank you guys so much. Now, this would be a non-biased review. And I've been looking at the iCopy XS for years. The only thing holding me back was the price. Now, we've talked about RFID tech on this channel before, mainly with the Chameleon. And they actually gave me a Chameleon Ultra too, a real one this time. So, with the Chameleon Ultra, it's like, does the basic things. It reads, it writes. This guy takes RFID to the next level. And... I think it's kind of just known out there. It's the best in the game for RFID. So, why not take a look at it? So, we could go ahead and just open this guy up. Now, I have been pretty excited to take a look at this. And I've got my RFID thing here. So, we could test it out also in a minute. Now, I expected this to be like this big. Like a big device. And it actually looks pretty small. So, we've got our instructions. Uh, I'll totally read these. Actually, I may have to. This thing looks pretty complex. But here's our iCopy XS itself. Now it's got the screen, these four buttons, and then we've got our main buttons up here, up, down, left, right, select. And we have our whole RFID section right here where it reads, writes, all this stuff. And, I mean, it's pretty legit, okay? So, I mean, this feels really nice quality. It's got a weight to it. I love the architecture, or, like, the design of this. Like these things, it's got a speaker in here, charges via USB C, and I mean, it's, the box is still heavy, so must be other stuff in here. Okay, yes, so we have this box. Let's see. Yo, what? what the heck? Whoa, this feels oddly premium. I don't know, I've never felt a USB C cable like this, it's just very, very smooth. And then we have our RFID tags. Now this does come with a bunch of program pro wow programmable tags. RFID. It's even got these small circle ones. Nice. So, I mean, what better way than to just take a look at this itself? So let's go ahead and turn it on. So let's go ahead, hold the on button. I'm pretty sure this is charged. Yeah, there you go. So this just shows you how good of a display this thing has. It's got this beautiful blue boot up menu. I actually like these little things on the side. It feels nice. But, I mean, it did come with all these cards, I'm sure, because there are a bunch of different RFID-type cards. I'm sure there's a different one for each thing. You can just buy a bunch of programmable ones yourself. But for testing only, I copy XS and full encrypted. Okay, so are these all full encrypted? Oops. Of course, I had to drop something. No, so they're all actually different. So this one says fully encrypted. It says M14B. b so there's a few of these, L2, L3, L1. So these are all different. Well, okay, let's take a look at this. Took a sec to boot up. It is the first time, though. So, I mean, let me turn the brightness down on here. So hopefully you could see that better. It's really easy to read in person, but we're, we're going to have a few menu options. So main page, one of three. So it does everything. So we have auto copy, so read your card and it auto copies the next card dump files Ooh, mm, I like that sound and then I don't know why it looks so hard to read maybe it's just on my camera right now these screens always have a way of looking like that we've got scan tag so you can scan it see what type it is we have read tag to get the info off of it sniff TRF simulation interesting PC mode diagnose backlight volume about erase tag, hmm, actually that could be useful. If you just want to erase someone's tag. Time settings, LUA scripts. So, how about we just start off with the basics. Let's try to copy a tag. So, I have this tag right here. And I also have the cheapest lock on Amazon. No, I swear, look at this. And then, it doesn't stop beeping, so then you go. Oh yes, five times. So, I mean, let's just try this out. We could go ahead and, I mean, we could just try auto copy. Scanning in progress. Progress. Reading in progress. 
Read successful. File saved. Okay. I don't know if this has an SD card somewhere in here. I haven't seen a slot, and I haven't put one in. But saved. And now we could go ahead and hit right. Oh, so here's all the info on it. This could be actually pretty useful. Oh, there we go. Make it bigger so I could actually see. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit right. Data ready for copy. Please place new tag for copy. Tag type ID1. So let's go ahead, grab a new tag. Uh, this one looks nice. Of course, I was using the wrong tag, but it just said right successful. That took about 15 seconds. So, I mean, now we have this, and let's test it out. Oh, yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, I mean, kind of the basics with this guy. It tells you the details on the card, the frequency it's on, the chips. And, I mean, that's why all these cards are labeled and easy. But, now, I don't want to keep this on this card. So, what I could go ahead and do now is erase tag. And it's L1. And erase successful. So let's try it now. And it doesn't work. So this is just the basics of what this device can actually do. And we're going to go so much more in depth on this because this seems like such an amazing device. And I mean, with all the stuff you could do on here, I mean, I still need to go through all this stuff. I mean, I got so much stuff from DEF CON. But out of my stuff, this is definitely top three because I needed a new RFID device. And a device like this is just game changing for my RFID life. <laughs> no, but um, actually super cool. I'm trying to find a building that has RFID and go ask the owner if I could uh, try the card or <laughs> whatever. But I mean, that's it for this video. This is the iCopy XS and we just got into it. This can do so much more. And, I mean, keep an eye out. I have all this stuff from DEF CON, and we're going to go over all of it, and then we can start making some detailed videos. I guarantee you, the iCopy XS will be the first one we do. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.